After two long and stimulating days of talking policy, we're so pleased to have all of you joining us here tonight for a very special evening of entertainment. It's often been said that the arts have the ability to cross cultural divides and don't rely on a singular language or political persuasion. Music serves as a medium to unite us all. And after the past few years we've all experienced, who doesn't need a moment just to enjoy? And there's no better way than with the members of the US Air Force Band, the members of the Indonesian Military Band, Sandy Sindoro, and John Legend. And to that end, I'd like to share with you our next performance. He began studying music at a very early age, and he's gone on to represent Indonesia as a gifted singer and songwriter and musician. On behalf of Gorov and myself, along with the Atlantic Council and our gracious Indonesian hosts, please welcome Sandy Sundoro. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Selamat malam kepada yang terhormat Bapak Presiden NKRI, Bapak Jokowi, Bapak Menteri Pertahanan, Pak Prabowo, dan uh, Pak Luhut. <laughs> Selamat malam. So, hope you enjoy the night, uh, the days of staying in Bali. Mother, mother, there are so many of you crying. Brother, 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 there is far too many of you dying. You know we got to find a way to bring some love in here today. Father, father, we don't need to ask a lady Because war is not the answer For only love can conquer hate You know we've got to find a way To bring some love in here today Oh, they can lie Picket signs Don't punish me With brutality Don't talk to me So you can see Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Tell you what's going on I'll tell you what's going on Oh, woo, woo, woo Woo, Yeah, hey, I tell you what's going on. 
what's going on? Bubble, what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I didn't do it. What's going on with the world today? Will you stop the war? Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy the staying here in Bali, in my country, Indonesia. Bali, Indonesia. So, so um, uh, second song, I'll play um, a song in Bahasa, Indonesia, in our language. So it's called Malam Biru. It's uh, one of my... Oh, la la. Okay. I'll play it to you. Suatu malam yang biru tanpa dirimu berjuta-juta rindu ku padamu sendiriku pun harus menikmati nyanyi yang sang rembulan engkau yang seharusnya di sisiku kau yang selalu ada di hayalku semoga kau mendengar. Lagu ini yang ku cipta untukmu semua, oh kasihku. Ini ini laguku hanya untuk dirimu. Tanda cintaku padamu, oh sayang. Engkau yang seharusnya di sisiku, kau yang selalu ada di hayatku. Semoga kau mendengar lagu ini yang ku cipta untukmu, oh kasihku. Ini ini laguku hanya untuk dirimu, baby. Tanda cintaku padamu, hey hey. Do 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 do, oh oh yeah yeah. Sha na na na, na na na, oh yeah 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 yeah. Kasihku, semua ini ini laguku. Yeah, tanda cintaku padamu. Yeah, ini ini laguku dirimu. Tanda cinta, tanda cinta ku Indonesia. Untuk dirimu, tanda cinta ku, baby. Oh, 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 Terima kasih. Get ready for it's a John Legend.
Please welcome Atlantic Council President and Chief Executive Officer Fred Kemp. Uh, what a wonderful performance. Uh, one more round of applause for Sandy Sondora. Uh, on September 19th in New York City, on the evening before the opening of the UN General Assembly, uh, the Atlantic Council presented President Joko Widodo with our highest honor, the highest honor uh, that we present every year uh, at the Atlantic Council. The honor is called the Global Citizen Award, and we give it to people who embody the notion of global citizenship. And that has to do with being locally relevant, locally a leader, taking care of your people, but also having a heart for the world and taking on the world. And that's what we wanted to celebrate in President Widodo. Because he was not able to join us in person that evening, Foreign Minister Marsudi accepted on his behalf. Uh, having this Atlantic Council Global Security Forum here in Bali was a coincidence. It really was a coincidence, but it was also an incredible opportunity that allowed us to improve upon the award uh, that we gave September 19th when you were not there and now you are here. Uh, so let's take a moment uh, and watch a short video about our honoree. Melihat perkembangan dunia sampai sekarang ini, banyak hal yang harus kita lakukan bersama-sama. Pertama, kita harus memberikan harapan bahwa pandemi COVID-19 akan bisa tertangani dengan cepat, adil, dan merata. Kita tahu bahwa no one is safe until everyone is. Kita harus tetap serius melawan intoleransi, konflik, terorisme, dan perang. Perdamaian dalam keberagaman, jaminan hak perempuan, dan kelompok minoritas harus kita tegakkan. What an honor it is uh, to speak about you, President Widodo, this evening. Uh, and uh, some of you in the audience know me. This is not only the first day in my life I've worn batik. It is the first time that any president of the Atlantic Council in our 60-year history has worn batik. Uh, and so we do that in honor of your country and in honor of you. Um, uh, starting as a businessman and mayor in your home city, Surakarta, in 2005, President Jacobi entered politics with the aim to work for the people. He devoted himself to eradicating poverty, reducing crime, paying spontaneous visits to poor neighborhoods and marketplaces, always ready to hear people's voices from up close. Your refusal to accept salary for public work and your competence in transforming the city into a vibrant tourist destination won the population of Surakarta's heart. And you were re-elected as mayor in 2010 with more than 90 
percent of the vote. Your, dirt, your determination to serve continued throughout your career, and you became the governor of Jakarta and then the president of Indonesia in 2014. You were the first Indonesian president without a military or elite political background, and your victory symbolized the victory of democracy. In the <laughs> the victory of democracy in this country of over 17,000 islands, 300 ethnic groups, and 273 million people and counting. We will all witness your leadership here at the G20 as you bring countries together at a particularly difficult moment in the world community in solving the most pressing challenges today in health, climate change, economic recessions, and geopolitical tensions that have us all on edge to recover together and to recover stronger. To make this G20 summit a success, it needs a chair of extraordinary talent and capability and heart, and someone who enjoys the trust of all parties involved. And you started becoming chair of the G20 far before you came here and, and, and launched this week. We've been watching your travels, been, we've been watching your meetings. President Widodo is not just a man of the people of Indonesia, he's also become a global citizen who embodies the spirit of global cooperation, a catalyst for collective prosperity and peace, and that is why the Atlantic Council and its jury voted to honor you with our highest honor. It's now my pleasure to present the 2020 Atlantic Council Distinguished Global Citizen Award to President Joko Widodo of Indonesia, a man of the people, a global leader, a global citizen. President Widodo. Honorable Mr. Frederick Kemp, President and Chief Executive Officer of Atlantic Council, Honorable Mr. Gaurav Srivastava, Founder of Gaurav and Sharon Srivastava Family Foundation, Ministers attending this event, and all distinguished ladies and gentlemen. First of all, First of all. I would like to extend my deepest gratitude for this award that has been presented to me, the Global Citizen Award from the Atlantic Council. Honestly, it has never crossed my mind that I would receive this prestigious award. What I've done so far 
is that I have always strived to deliver my best with full responsibility to uphold the values of humanities. As a diverse country, having more than 17,000 islands, 1,340 ethnic groups, and 652 local languages, Indonesia has taught us the values of tolerance, peace, unity, and cooperation. As an individual and as a leader, I love visiting villages, rural areas, and traditional markets. I have learned from commoners. They have taught us modesty and humility and their vulnerabilities in facing challenges. The hardest challenges have always been felt by the poorest, by low-income families and low-income countries. Therefore, I have always strived to fight for the interest of common people and to give voice for low-income countries in various forums. The world cannot be built by rivalry and greed, but the world must be built with tolerance and cooperation, mutual respect and mutual benefit. The Presidency of Indonesia in G20 this year and the Chairmanship of Indonesia in ASEAN next year in 2023 will also be supported by upholding these values. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I would like to thank you for this Global Citizen Award presented to me. This will certainly boost my motivations and the government of the Republic of Indonesia to take up responsibilities as part of the global solution.